的，你你想接下来发展？啊，欢迎大家来参加我们今天这个与君不到所的启用礼。A very warm welcome to all of you attending this inaugural service for the Queen Chapel. 那我们相信我们的会长，他是你们最高兴的一件事情就是。I believe this is going to be the most happiest thing that happened to our president. 那我们教会牧师传道跟会长讲，哎，会长，我们有一个要开始这个启用礼，你可以来主持吧，他是最高兴。Whenever we inform the president that our churches or going to set up chapels or new planting of new churches, he'll be very very happy. 我说今天很高兴啊，我们也很荣幸恭喜到我们的莫会长来到我们当中为我们主持这个启用礼。那么在这边我们要欢迎他，也欢迎会长来在我们当中。Let us welcome our president, Reverend Paul and Mrs. Paul, and Mrs. Paul. 祝你弟兄姐妹们平安。Peace to you, brother and sister in Christ. 啊，首先我们要感谢天父上帝的恩典。We must thank you, thanks to a lot of. 那让我们今天早上这个时刻，大家都是第一次来参加这个最新的布道所的崇拜。This is the first time, and the that every one of us is attending a church chapel service in this chapel. 刚才一领唱的时候，弟兄就问啊，我们是不是第一次啊？他故意问的啊，当然是第一次啊。So as brother Jacob asked, is this the first time you are here? Of course. 那这是啊，广东堂在这两三年来所开设的第二间，这两三年来。啊 ，This is the second chapels that we opened up in for the Chinese Methodist Catholic Church. 那这也是我们年会这三年来开的第十六间。And it is the number sixteen chapters started in under our CAC. 那这也是二零一零年开设布道所的第二间。And this is the second chapters that started service in the year of two zero one zero. 那你们听懂就懂，听不懂那无所谓，总之是第一次啊。So long. This is the first time for all of us here in this place. 那我要感谢牧师的带领跟我们的知识位主席。在神弟兄以及王慧领袖、洪正弟兄带领之势，那有这样的一个成果。I must give thanks to your uh pastor Reverend Ling and together with the LCC members that we be able to lead the church to grow in such a manner. 我想传扬福音、开设布道所是教会始终没有改变过的一个使命。I believe. To spread the gospel, to set up chapels or churches, this is the mission that every one of us must carry out. 要在使徒行传第三、第八节说得很清楚，但圣灵降在你们的身上，你们必得着能力，并要在耶路撒冷、在犹大、全地和撒玛利亚，直到地极，做主的见证。It is written in Acts chapter one, verse one, but you will receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes among you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. 大概在一年前，我看到了一份的报告。There was this report which I came across one year ago. 这是根据 Operation World 他们的一个统计。And this is a statistic uh, uh, done by the, uh, an organization. 在一九零零年，就是大概在啊、uh, 一千呃、uh, 在一百一十年前。It's about year 1900. This about 110 years ago. 那全世界的人口有十六万万。And the the whole world's population is 16 160 million. 那么基督徒的人口占全世界的三分之一。And out of this population, one third are Christians. 回教在当时占了十二个八千。At that time, was 100 years ago, the Muslim Uh, population is about 12 percent. 那么大概是两万万人。Is about 200 million. 那么到了今天，全世界的人口超过六十万万。And today is above 60 billion. 
。那基督徒的人口是占三十二点三，也是三分之一。And today the、uh, the Christian population still remain one third of the world population。但是回教徒的人口增长到二十一八千。But the、uh, the percentage of the Muslim growth is twenty one percent now。这意味着这一百年来基督徒的人口的增长是比回教徒的人口的增长来的慢。In other words, for the past hundred years, the growth of, China,、uh, of the、uh, Christians' population is rather slower as compared to the Muslim. 那我想这提醒了我们基督徒的一个使命，传福音的使命是要继续传。<coughs> This reminds us all Christians that、uh, to continue to spread the gospel is、uh, every one of us、uh, the most important task. 对我来说，谁的人数多跟少那不重要。To me, whether the numbers is not important. 我们在历史旧约的里面看到，在整个以色列人在背叛神的时候，神在以色列当中仍旧留下七千不曾向巴力神来跪拜。And during the Old Testament time,、uh, there was written when the Israelites were against God, when they rebelled God, so there was still remained seven thousands of the Israelites refused to praise God. 那从这个数字来讲，那个人数的多寡它不重要，重要的是在每一个时代的里面，仍旧有神的门徒继续为神来做见证。Therefore, the numbers is not important. The important thing is during any era or any time that there must be Christian continue to worship God. 那重要的是，基督徒在每一个时代，我们继续要传讲上帝的国的这个福音。As Christian, we must continue to spread the gospel of God. 我们读刚在读刚才的《使徒行传》的时候，我们看到耶稣复活，向门徒来显现。And it was written in the books of Acts, the Jesus Christ resurrected, and he was appeared against the uh to the uh disciples. 那我们看到耶稣显现的时候，就跟门徒讲论天国的福音。And he was telling the、uh, disciples about the kingdom of God. 但是门徒关心的是什么呢 ？But what The disciples is worried about it. 他们问耶稣说：“主啊，你复兴以色列的国就在这个时候吗 ？”What they are worried is whether Jesus Christ is to revive、uh, the kingdom of Israel. Is it at that moment? 那换一句话说，门徒耶稣所关心的是神国的事，而门徒看到了耶稣，他们关心的是：哎，我们以色列国什么时候要得到复兴 ？It means that to Jesus. The kingdom of God is more important, but to the disciples, the establishment of the Israelite, the, the country of Israel, is more important. 我们相信犹太人关心以色列人的这个复国，复国当然有他的理由的。Of course, the to the Jews, they are so worried and concerned about their their own country. 那耶稣并没有直接回答他们的问题。But Jesus didn't reply. Then directly, he may have 否定这件事情 And he also didn't deny about this. 他只表达了门徒不需要知道这个事，复兴在什么时候不重要，因为这是复自己的时间 What is his point out is it's not that important because God Himself, the Father God Himself, is going to decide. 那神要犹太人来关心的是上帝国的事。God want the Israelites to concern about the kingdom of God. 那到底神的国是怎样的呢 ？No one is this talking about kingdom of God. 那在犹太人他们的心目中，有关神国的事又是怎样的呢 ？To the Jews, uh, what do they know about kingdom of God? 那在这两个礼拜的里面，我就是一直研究保罗的思想。在保罗的时代，他对旧约的里面的神这个国这些观念是怎样的？ During the last two weeks, I'm concentrating on the studying the、uh, the thinking or the thoughts of Paul、uh, concerning the kingdom of God. 那犹太人在旧约的里面，他们是绝对的相信，他们是被神拣选，特别拣选的一群。During the Old Testament time, the, the Jews they strongly believed that they were chosen people by God. 那他们也相信他们是很特殊的，他们也相信他们是优秀的民族。They know that、uh, they still strongly believe that they are special, they are different from other, the other races. 我想从今天整个社会、整个世界的知识、宗教界也好、文艺界也好、石油界也好、各方面界也好，的确显示了犹太民族是很聪明。But actually, until today, when we look at the the world. Whether you are in business, you are in the art, you are in uh, uh, 
are and religious and things that the Jews are always outstanding. 那我们看到以色列国这个国家，他们在历史的里面，他们都是经历了许多的这个风。